Hello my beloved friends. So I welcome you in today's session. Uh, in today's session, you know, I have channeled the Pleiadians in order to query about the Hopi people. And not only to query about the Hopi people, uh, but also to, you know, ask about the prophecy uh, made by the Hopi people, right? Uh, the Hopi people have made a prophecy regarding the apocalypse. And in today's session, the Pleiadians also tell us uh, about what it actually means. Furthermore, this session was really uh, fascinating for me because in this session, uh, the Pleiadians, they describe, you know, how the Hopi people actually came into existence. And this is really fascinating, okay? Uh, like, this is like beyond uh, my mind because, you know, I... Uh, like you know the things that I receive uh, during channeling are sometimes uh, like really like different okay they are out there and you know I I mean I cannot think uh, I, I would not have been able to you know like uh, you know make this stuff up with my own mind okay this is coming from somewhere else this is coming from the Pleiadians uh, via channeling and people uh, some people they don't believe in channeling but it it is the it is it works it is true okay that uh, many a times, you know, you receive information from some uh, other places, you know, it's like, wow, where did this come from, right? But I'm channeling under trans state, so in this session, you know, uh, the Pleiadians, they describe about how the Hopi people came, uh, they describe about the war of Agartha and the reptilians, we, this was hidden from human history, okay? Uh, many people, they don't know about this. This was hidden from human history. And people, you know, whenever we talk about reptilians, they will say, oh, this is a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy, okay? They existed, you know, many a times in my sessions, they have referred to the reptilians. So it means they were here. They are just like, uh, you know, like uh, beings, okay? They are, however, in the negative polarity. I don't believe all of them are in the negative, but, you know, most of them. And also they describe about, you know, the Hopi apocalypse. Uh, they say that a big change uh, is coming in what manner okay they will describe in the session so watch the session and then i will give you a brief explanation we are the pleiadians and we are communicating through this instrument we are communicating from the Taigeta planetary sphere in our star system of the Pleiades. Before we communicate through this instrument, remember to use your discernment. When listening to our messages and only accept those thought forms which have a deep resonance with your inner heart. Furthermore, today this instrument has queried about the so-called prophecy of apocalypse as made by the Hopi people who are also known as the Native American tribe on your planetary sphere, and who exist on the lands known to your people in your language sequence as America. In this regard, let us tell you that there is a divine connection that the Hopi people have with the small percent of positively oriented Orion entities of the fifth density of light and wisdom, who in essence are a small collective of the positive oriented Orions who have separated themselves from the larger negative collective in order to be of service to the one creator in the aspect of positive polarization. Their social memory complex resides not in the Orion planetary sphere, but they are residing in another galaxy at this current time space. 
the name of this galaxy cannot be pronounced using your tongue. These positive oriented Orions firstly made contact with the Hopi people approximately 2100 years prior to this linear time space. In fact, the origination of the Hopi people is a matter of divine intervention wherein the Hopi population started their origination in another planetary portion of your Earth timeline. That is on Africa and some entities were taken and some decided to assist the Agarthans in the battle of the Agarthans against the reptilians that occurred in the time space prior to that of 2100 year time period. As the battle had been raging on between the third density Agarthans at that time space, against the third density reptilians who were being influenced negatively by the negatively oriented Orions, in the inner earth, the reptilians were of the beginning fourth density nature of negative polarization and used their negativity to control the Agarthans at that time period. In order to allow the preservation of free will of the Agarthans to be restored, the positive oriented Orions assisted these Agarthans as the Agarthans used to worship them and were in contact with these benevolent Orions. The positively oriented Orion entities then asked for some volunteers amongst the African civilization that existed at that time period in order to assist in the battle of the third density beings. Thirteen individuals using their free will decided to volunteer in this battle and were genetically altered by the positively oriented Orions, making them more advanced and having no distortion of the type of egoic portions of the mind, which dominates most third density beings in the various galaxies. These thirteen awakened ones were sent to the Agartha as messengers and they were known by the Agarthans as the Hopi in their language terms which meant the awakened ones. They were sent to the lands of Agartha in order to spread the message of love and light in order to defeat the regime of the reptilians. Since the reptilians relied on the negative oriented Orion forces, the positively oriented Orions knew how to counteract their negative influence. The negative oriented Orions were using the power of negative influences of the egoic portions of the mind which caused fear to propagate. Since the Agarthans at that time period existed at a level of later third density consciousness, equivalent to the level of consciousness that is currently found on your planetary sphere, this caused a division to occur amongst the Agarthans, which caused some Agarthans to be swayed into the negative polarization and some of these negatively polarized Agarthans worked with the reptilians in defeating the positive forces. This caused the service to self-agenda 
to mix into even those service to others oriented aspects or programs which the Agarthans had indulged into. The so-called 13 Hopi individuals were guided by the positively oriented Orion entities to teach the Agarthans and act as messengers of positivity. These Hopi people gave them knowledge to awaken consciousness and to disattach the egoic portions of the mind. This caused the Agarthans to understand and fully grasp the methods used by the negative-oriented Orions to control the population of Agartha. At that time period, this allowed a few positively oriented entities to share positive messages of the universality of unity. Amongst each being, this allowed 70% of the Agarthan population to resonate with the message. And using their free will, the Agarthans became positively affected and defeated the reptilians by spreading love and light because negative-oriented entities despise love and light energies and they run away from it in order to protect their polarity. This caused the reptilians to leave the earth planet and eventually along with their influencers, the negatively polarized Orion entities left the Earth planet and some factions shifted their base to the Mars planet and some factions went to the Niburu planet and the Orion constellation. This planet Nibiru is currently in a different dimension Furthermore, the reptilians are currently on the Mars planet trying to do the same with planet Earth at this current time space. In this regard, the Hopi people, the few who had helped in winning the war against the dark forces during the time of the Agarthan civilization, these few entities who had originally come from Africa were returned to the Earth's crust upon completion of their mission and advanced guidance for protection against negative-oriented Orions were provided in the form of knowledge to these first Hopi people. These first individuals of the Hopi population created the three mesas that were aligned perfectly to mimic the shape of the constellation of Orion. This began the starting of the so-called and known as the Hopi people. They were also taught to create dynamic, interstellar, pyramidical, positive thought form protection around their lands in order to protect themselves from the negative-oriented Orion influences that sometimes came in the form of negative thought forms from the Orion constellation. These original 13 Hopi members, after their natural end of their life cycle, passed on some of the knowledge of other people. However, many entities using these methods started to create predictions of apocalypse. Using their ego-based portions of the mind, which distorted the original pure messages, as the future is subjective, as many entities on your planet are already aware of, the so-called apocalypse that was mentioned in the knowledge base of the Hopi were in fact pointing to the current time-space period 
that signifies the changes of the planet and the cleansing process of the planet that is occurring at this time period. Some of the first descendants of the 13 Hopis were taught to maintain contact with the positive-oriented Orions via telepathic communication. The apocalypse signifies big changes of the Earth's planetary sphere as it transforms into the fourth density consciousness. This will also cause many of the old systems to crash and dysfunction. And many of the entities on your planet will choose to live a more peaceful life without any external disturbance. This will cause many entities to awaken to the truth of their true essence and a new flowering of consciousness will start leading to a massive wave of awakening leading to birthing of a new level of consciousness on the planet that is occurring at this time period these bigger changes have yet to come into effect on your planetary sphere and in this particular timeline, we can sense these positive changes of a drastic effect will come forth in the upcoming days. In this regard, this is all we can share at this time space. We'll leave you now until we meet again. Bye. Uh, so, hello my friends. Uh, after watching the session, I hope you understood about, you know, how the... Uh, you know what the Hopi people uh, had said about the ap apocalypse and you know the apocalypse you know it means actually a big change is coming in our planet a change in our consciousness okay uh, what this means is that you know our earth is going through a rough period right now and then you know it will enter into a new earth paradigm I believe this is what I learned from the session I believe this is what they are saying and the other thing I learned is that, you know, the, um, you know, the Hopi people's origins, you know, it's really fantastic. The Hopi people, they firstly originated from uh, Africa, okay, from Africa. And then uh, the Hopi people, uh, the, 13, uh, the 13 people, right, who decided to help the uh, Agarthans in the battle of Agartha versus the reptilians were, uh, were genetically, you know, like made... Uh, into a higher level of consciousness by remo removing the, uh, I believe, the egoic portions of the mind, which creates a lot of problems in uh, third density life, okay? And these 13 beings who were known as the enlightened or the awakened ones, they, uh, they volunteered to go to Agartha and, you know, at, I believe you know, at that time, you know, the reptilians were controlling uh, the Agarthans and, you know, they were under the control of the reptilians. And, you know, the reptilians, they were being guided by the uh, negative Orions, right? So the positive Orions, they knew how to counteract that by spreading uh, positive messages. So the 13 members, they were able to spread love and light uh, amongst the reptilians, uh, sorry, amongst the Agarthans. And what this caused was that this allowed... Uh, you know many people to wake up from um, from what was going on right and 70% of the Agarthans they woke up which led to them uh, entering into a positive polarity and also the defeat defeat of the negative reptilians right so the reptilians they left earth after that they left earth and then uh, many of them they went to Mars and uh, some of them went to Nibiru uh, currently, the Nibiru planet is in another dimension. We, we know this because from one session I had done a long time back. Okay, those of you who are regular viewers of this channel, they know about this. Uh, that planet Nibiru was is in a different dimension, as stated by the Galactic Federation. Uh, I had done one session in my previous, like uh, you know, channel links. You can watch that if you want to. And also, uh, this uh, the the you know the. Uh, Hopi people, right, the 13 Hopi people, after the victory of the light, they were then 
uh, you know, sent to, uh, uh, they, they then, you know, began to, um, you know, move towards America and then that is how uh, the uh, Hopi people were firstly established. There were 13 uh, people in the Hopi population and these 13 were given like highly advanced uh, technology and knowledge about creating pyramidical thought form protections and you know also they talk about something known as the mesas which i don't have any idea about they said there are like three mesas uh, i believe you know mesas means like some factions or something okay so they are like three uh, mesas in the um, in the what you call uh, the hopi population and the interesting thing is these three mesas are uh, you know like uh, like perfectly aligned with the orion constellation i believe th this is the reason because they uh, w because they were receiving negative thought forms from that direction right so they wanted to protect uh, themselves and the uh, and you know this was a very fascinating uh, session okay because you know the positive orions you know they are also like benevolent okay they're not not all of them are negative we, we must be very careful for you know naming all the orions negative no not all of them are negative i have seen you know many uh, like in youtube channels they channel the positive orions well it's fine you know and the thing is you know i I respect all the people who channel, you know, all the people who say they are in contact, you know, well, um, you know, that could be true because they are sharing something good to the people, okay, and I think that's making a huge difference in our planet at this time period, and also, you know, I need to say a big thank you to all of you for watching the session and also for following me on Patreon where I am uh, putting uh, uncensored content because YouTube is becoming like, you know, very censored as you know, you know, lots of like uh, other like creators, you know, they are, uh, you know, like t talking about censorship on YouTube. But anyways, I am on Patreon. So thank you so much also for supporting me there and until we meet again.